Mr. Speaker, we'll take no lessons from them. The Honourable Member for Haldeman Norfolk. Eight years of this Prime Minister's overspending has led to the current inflationary crisis. Canadians have never struggled more with paying for food, fuel, and shelter. Former Finance Minister Bill Morneau, former Bank Governor Mark Carney, and the current Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklin all agree these Liberals have overspent and Canadians are suffering as a result. When will this Prime Minister rein in his inflationary spending so that life in Canada can once again become affordable? The right Honourable Prime Minister. That was the excuse Conservatives gave when they voted against rental benefits for the most vulnerable renters. That's what the excuse they gave when they said, no, we're not going to make sure that all families can send their kids to the dentist in this country. They said, oh no, that's too much spending. Mr. Speaker, we have the strongest balance sheet in the G7. We have an enviable fiscal position, and this government is choosing to use that to support Canadians in targeted ways that are going to help them through these difficult times, while Conservatives stand there and vote against it. Mr. Speaker, we'll take no lessons from them. The Honourable Member for Haldeman Norfolk. This Prime Minister should learn the lesson that he has not acted in the best interests of Canadians with eight years of wasteful inflationary spending. Now this government wants Canadians to just trust them and give them a blank check for $2 billion to invest in a company that does not even exist. Well, we heard that before, when they wasted $35 billion on an infrastructure bank that has not completed not even one project in six years. Will this Prime Minister admit that because his government wasted billions... Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, one of the areas in which I know the member opposite feels we wasted money over the past years is in procurement of vaccines, Mr. Speaker, in trusting science and evidence in our approach to keep people safe right across the, uh, right across the country. Indeed, uh, it has been shown that the approach she was pushing uh, during the pandemic would have resulted in tens of thousands of deaths more than we actually had and a much slower economic recovery. We made the choice during that pandemic to step up, to follow science, to be there for Canadians. That's exactly what we did. We can understand how she did. 